It is too early for me. I got to have my coffee. What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen Seen, aka Jungle Naps. So I got my Kylie Cosmetics order yesterday in the mail. I was so excited. I was like, you know what? Shoot. I just gotta like film a look with it right away. So I ordered Kylie's a Diary from the Kylie Valentine's Day collection. And when we open it up right here, look at the packaging. This is kind of cute. It's supposed to, it reminds me of like when you're in fifth grade, you know, and you get like, you know, candies, Valentine's Day candies from everybody. And you get like, you know, cute little Valentine's Day themed like stuff like this. And I think that's the kind of look that she was going for. Um, some people might not like it. They might think whatever, it looks cheap. But I think it's cute. It's supposed to resemble like being in elementary school, you know. So you open it, you've got a big mirror here, and here are the colors. So you've got, um, you know, all of these really bright colors. Again, Valentine's Day themed, so if you are a neutral kind of person, this might not be for you. But this is really cool because you can really just push yourself to explore different colors. So I did this look speaking of vibrant um, and I feel like it just screams like a pink Valentine's Day and for my girls that love color like this is for you lots of peach tones lots of pink tones and um, if you're not really into color that's fine I do have another more subtle Valentine's Day look coming up soon but I was just like you know what let's just go big or go home. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just going to touch a little bit on the palette itself before we get to the tutorial. I really love the palette. I think that the colors are very bold and for that certain type of person who likes that, then it's going to work lovely. The mirror in it is really big, really clear. It's The quality is nice in the mirror. It's not cheap. It's not tacky. And like, this thing is like a sturdy palette. It doesn't feel cheap. Now I know that the Sweet Peach palette that came before it, a lot of people said it had a really nasty, like chemical-y smell. And I've heard that's because they had switched the manufacturers for who manufactures the actual packaging, not the actual eyeshadows itself. I'm happy to report this does not smell. Um, it's a pretty nice palette. So um, the quality is good. good. Blah. <laughs> the quality is good, just to let you know that straight off the bat. Now, um, the actual shadows, I really, really like them. I think that the mattes are a lot more pigmented than the shimmers. The shimmers do need like Fix Plus or MAC Mixing Medium to build them up if you want them to pop. And I would definitely suggest layering them on top of a uh, matte color so that way it has like a really good base you know what I mean um, so yeah I'm just going to show you guys some swatches and then we can get into the tutorial <laughs> mm. it's too early for me I got to have my coffee so I'm going to start off with most of my makeup done already. We're just going to focus on the eyes because I really want to see how these eyeshadows perform, whether there's any fallout, yada, yada, yada. So first up, I'm going to dig into this color right here. This is Sweet Like Candy. And I'm going to use it as a transition color. So one of the main things you want to do is when you're starting off with your face makeup done, you always want to make sure you tap your brush, your eye brush, to get the excess colors off so that you're not just depositing fallout on your eyelids. And this is actually a really beautiful, beautiful color. I'm loving how this is working. Next up, I'm dipping my hands into, or not my hands, my brush into Loves Me Not right here. Or no, Heart Eyes, that's what it's called. <laughs> and a really good trick I'm gonna show you guys, if you wanna make a sharp edge but you don't feel like using tape, take, um, you can either use a foundation bottle or like a primer bottle, something with a sharp edge like this, and just lay it like this. Just make sure that when you go to the other eye, it's lined up and it's even. So 
So I'm creating this nice halo eye and see how I left the middle here nice and blank. Don't worry, we're going to fix that. Right now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to smooth out my transition area. Now we take a smaller brush here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that color Sweeter Than Candy and lay it as a base for the halo part of the eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and soften the edges here with that same color, uh, Sweeter Than Candy, to just diffuse it a little bit. And now I'm gonna make it even more intense. We're gonna smoke out the lower lash with um, the color Heart Eyes. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of mascara, of course, to make the lashes really pull up. And I'm just using my mascara for eyelash extensions. You can use your favorite ones, of course. And for the last step of blush, I'm going to pick this peachy one and see how this looks like on my skin tone. This is actually like really soft and subtle. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but in person I can. I was afraid that the peach was gonna be really, really bright, but it looks really nice. It's more for like a very subtle, subtle blush look, um, which is nice. And I'm sure that if I wanted to build it up, I could, but I'm gonna err on the side of caution and uh, leave it just as nice as it is right now. All right, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like this. If you like bold colors, this is for you. And um, yeah, keep on the lookout. I do have my more subtle, natural look coming up very soon. So make sure that you guys turn on your notifications um, and subscribe, of course, so that you guys can make sure that you don't miss any of my uploads. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.